so the physicists, the quantum physicists, have um, confirmed the theory of quantum entanglement, particulate entanglement, where um, physical particles in separate places affect each other. Like, tickle one, the other one giggles, right? Over, like, space. There's space between these two things and they don't know what uh, action is being carried out on the one particle, but the other particle is feeling it too. Quantum entanglement has now been proven. So how about this? What if quantum entanglement isn't only um, a matter of physical, of place, of space? What if it is also a matter of time? Because time appears to be linear and sort of constant to us here in our physical incarnation here on Earth, but we know through physics that that is not the case. Um, what if there are multiple times, in fact, every time, past, present and future, all existing, all at once, and there's quantum entanglement between particles in different times as well as in different spaces. This would really, really um, be significant possibly in the matter of understanding reincarnation. Because reincarnation is not punishment and reward. Reincarnation is the reconstitution of energy into particulate form um, in the most appropriate uh, way and form possible in order to um, move towards balance and stasis. So just a thought about quantum entanglement, not only in space, but also in time. And of course, as ever, the, um, the, the, the encouragement I give you from here is to uh, learn to um, meditate, learn to bring your body to stillness, stillness therefore bringing your mind to stillness um, in order to uh, reduce your wriggling around, shall we say. Because the more you wriggle around karmically, you are setting off like reactions uh, through um, quantum entanglement as well and uh, guaranteeing uh, your return. So yeah, just some thoughts about reincarnation, quantum entanglement over space and um, possibly quantum entanglement over time. Thank you so much for listening and uh, have a lovely day. Bye bye.